Senator Bernie Sanders has ruffled quite a bit of feathers at Amazon, especially as of lately because he's been so vocal and unapologetic in advocating for the Amazon Union effort currently taking place in Bessemer, Alabama, and they're so angered at his advocacy for their workers that the CEO of Amazon himself, Dave Clark, chose to publicly denounce Bernie Sanders via Twitter. We talked about that last week on the program, but Bernie Sanders did actually do a speech for the workers of Amazon. So we tweeted out a video of his speech along with some of the testimonies from workers who share how the company abuses them and exploits them. And he also states, Amazon workers in Alabama are sick and tired of being treated like robots. They are standing up and fighting back and I am proud to support them. So we're gonna play the video that he shared and then I'm gonna show you the response from Amazon because once again, they sent one of their cronies to respond to and attack Bernie Sanders. And the issue of, um, of working conditions, I'm very proud of our working conditions. We now have documents that reporters have uncovered showing that Amazon is in fact aware of drivers peeing in bottles. These people in the name of the convenience of shit getting dropped at our door are being used and abused because it's peak season. The stories of the workers there that I met in Bessemer at that plant were horrific. We're being treated like we're prisoners who's there to get a job done. Constant and set surveillance. You guys have a, a gadget on you that follows you all around or something? The inability to meet whatever the demands are. When I first got there, they said that um, after 30 days, you'll have an opportunity to move somewhere else. After my 30 days was up, they added another stipulation. You got to pack 300 boxes an hour to be able to move. I don't know where that come from. I have a lady right now who's my heart going out to right now because she's off with an injury. If history teaches us anything, is that big money and trust do not give you anything. You gotta stand up and fight for it. My knee messed up on while I was at work. And then they sent me right back to picking. Martin Luther King said the best anti-poverty program he knew of was the union. What is the story about elevators? The, you can't use the elevators? They got tons of elevators in here. They just don't have them for the employees. The union can bring in to make a change when it comes to job security. Your, your safety welfare. And I asked my supervisor, I was like, I cannot do this. My knee, why would y'all send me back to picking when this is what messed my knee up? And she was like, I can't help it. It's not me. You know, she said, it's the company. Let's win this thing. Let's make history. So we just watched the video. We all heard with our own eyes and ears, Amazon workers themselves describe the conditions. And on top of that, there's been other reporting. Journalist Ken Klippenstein explains how Amazon is currently deploying a troll farm to combat anti-Amazon rhetoric online. I mean, this is a PR nightmare for the company, but when you have a monopoly and when you have so much resources, you know, you can put money into trying to spread misinformation at the behest of your company. So Bernie Sanders shared that video and um, guess who decided to respond? Amazon press person Jay Carney, who says, with all due respect, Senator Bernie Sanders, you're wrong on this. We treat our employees with dignity and respect. It's funny because they just said that you don't in the video we all watched. We offer a $15 an hour minimum wage, health care from day one, and a safe, inclusive workplace. Once again, we invite you to take a tour so you can see for yourself. And since there are 40 million Americans earning less than Amazon's starting wage, we ask you and your colleagues to please raise the federal minimum to $15 as well. So this is basically the same thing that Amazon CEO Dave Clark said. They use the $15 an hour minimum wage as an excuse as to why their employees shouldn't form a union when we all know that if their workers were unionized, they'd be making well over $15 per hour. So they can keep using that to make it seem as if they're progressive, but you're not a progressive organization when your employees are forced to piss in bottles and shit in plastic bags on the road because you refuse to give them breaks or you penalize them if they aren't as efficient as you want them to be. Now, if that name, Jay Carney, sounded familiar to you, well, you might have remembered him from uh, the Obama administration because he actually was the White House press secretary for Obama and he now works for Amazon. 
Hey, Obama, come get your trash. I mean, this is just, um, I'd say it's infuriating, but I honestly don't feel much emotions from this because I'm so numb to the bullshit and fuckery that we see from large multinational corporations that this isn't actually surprising to me. But Amazon has just gone out of their way to be so shameless in shutting down any pro-union rhetoric online that they've gone and exposed themselves even more so than if they just shut the fuck up from the beginning. I mean, David Dole put out a phenomenal video of all of these fake accounts that are popping up online from bots or paid trolls to basically do propaganda at the behest of Amazon where they say, hey, I'm Peggy from uh, Oak 4, you know, that warehouse, and I love my job at Amazon, and I don't want a union because, you know, Amazon is a great job, and we're like a family, and I don't want any outsider to come into my family and dictate the terms of, uh, you know, my family and I. It's just it's laughable, but some people buy this. It works on a lot of people. And in Alabama, you know, they have a right to work law that uh, is on the books. So I don't necessarily know if the Amazon union effort is going to succeed. I hope it does because this could be the start of a new wave of un unionization in America. And that's really important. Perhaps by the time you see this video, we'll have some more information because the vote has already taken place at the time I filmed this. I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to tell you the votes, but um, this is something that needs to happen. If you care about workers, then unions are one of the most pro-worker things that you can support because this is what empowers workers. It gives them not an equal footing with you know the, the employer, but it gives them more of a say and allows for less exploitation, higher wages. It's just, it's crucial. And you know, with how much Amazon is going out of their way to stop this union effort, that alone should speak to the importance of unions. They view unions as a threat. And because they're doing so much to stop it, it goes to show you how powerful unions could be in the fight in America for labor rights. So um, yeah, I, I absolutely am rooting for the Amazon warehouse workers in Bessemer, Alabama.